Oh, there we are. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, I thought I was off there for a sec. I got a warning sign, I was off. I hope you didn't catch that swear word, that naughty word I said. Hi, thanks for joining me here in freezing Taipei. And I'm just outside of the Breeze Center here, freezing my butt off and uh, checking out some of the uh, Lunar New Year sites around Taipei. And this is the shopping district. And uh, thank you for joining me. Whoa, it is uh, cold, it's windy. And uh, as I said in my post, uh, these are record cold temperatures here uh, in Taiwan for at least 10 years in northern Taiwan. And uh, oh my God, it's so cold, I have to tell you. And it, it, right now the, they say it's 10. I think with the wind, it's probably chillier. And uh, on top of that, like, you know, 10 degrees, if you're on the East Coast right now of the United States, uh, you know, in the middle of that storm or getting ready for that storm, that must feel like nothing, but here it's very, very cold. So 10 here in Northern Taiwan uh, feels like uh, zero uh, everywhere else, uh, Celsius, that is. So um, uh, everybody, if you look around here, this is a semi-tropical place. Snow, uh, and, and uh, yeah, thanks. Um, it, they, they probably will get snow in the high mountains here. The mountains, you know, above a thousand meters or, or higher we'll probably see some snow and that will be the first time in 10 years as well that most of the high mountains will get snow here in uh, in northern Taiwan and uh, well there's some real idiots out there um, goodbye <laughs> uh, and uh, so it's a really really uh, uncomfortable here right now uh, in uh, Taipei and this is uh, if you're just joining me this is the uh, uh, Jinyi uh, shopping district here um, and I'm John Sabo with Far East Adventure Travel and my podcast Far East Adventure Travel on iTunes uh, it's very very cold here right now so I have an umbrella uh, that I just bought yesterday uh, another one because the other one I had broke because of the winds and it was cheap and uh, I have my waterproof iPhone case that I'm using right now so I'm able to do these uh, broadcasts uh, in the rain which is uh, becoming a norm here lately in the last few days so where are you in the world? Give me a shout out where you are. I'd love to say hi. No freezing rain. No, no. Um, just really cold. Uh, yeah, give me a shout out where you are. I'd love to say hi to you. If you're just joining me here, I'm just maneuvering around the shopping district. Orlando. Oh my God, it must be so toasty down there. Thanks for joining me. Um, uh, it is, uh, it's so cold here right now. And, uh, but there's still lots of people out shopping. It's a Saturday afternoon here in uh, Taipei, Queens, New York. Welcome, thank you so much. And uh, it is, uh, if, if the camera is a little shaky, it's because my hand is shivering, I'm shivering. I don't have any gloves on right now. It does, it really feels cold here. It's like I'm from Canada and it feels like Canada right now. Really, it's cold in Florida, hey Chicago. Welcome, thank you so much. Uh, please uh, share the broadcast too, that would be so cool. Uh, yeah, I'm near Taipei 101, I'll take a walk around there. Um, I'm also looking for some things to show you that uh, decorations for Lunar New Year that's coming up. No, uh, oh, that's good to know. Hey, my friend, how are you? Uh, yeah, probably Alisan because uh, they're up higher up there, uh, which is, uh, if, you, if you don't know Alisan, it's a very uh, a beautiful part of Taiwan where they grow tea and uh and it's high in the mountains so they make a high mountain tea that's really popular here uh yeah 46 is is very cold though for florida for sure uh, i'm doing well my my friend thank you so much um and uh so they, they are getting snow or they're reportedly getting snow in the higher mountains here in taiwan and uh, it's the first time in a long time so uh but it's going to warm back up by monday it'll be up to 17 and 20 again sunset is great there oh i bet i I, you know, honestly, I've been here over a couple years off and on, and I still haven't gone down there. It is a, a place uh, that I'm definitely going to earmark for 2016, for sure. Hey, thanks for the hearts, too. And uh, please, give me a shout-out where you are. I'd love to chat and say hi to you. Uh, it's John Sabo, Far East Adventure Travel. I'm a broadcast journalist, a writer, a photojournalist, and I'm based in Taiwan. It's freezing in Taichung right now. Is that right? Oh, well, thanks for joining us here. 
I can't believe Taichung is freezing. Taichung is in the middle of uh, the island of Taiwan, and uh, it is uh, it, a lot of people from Taipei like it, and some move down there because it, the, it's typically warmer and drier than uh, northern Taiwan. So it's interesting that it's cold down there too. It's probably cold in mo on most of the island today, for uh, respectively for the area that they are in. Uh, so we're getting some record, record cold temperatures here, and it's coming up to Lunar New Year's, so I thought I would take a walk around. Shopping districts always are decorated nicely, and you can see you're at the Grand Hyatt. Oh, very cool. You are living the life. Yeah, I'll, I'll be scoping all around uh, for Chinese New Year, my friend. Absolutely. So you'll be able to check all that stuff out on my uh, Periscopes here and podcasts. Uh, so you can see all the lanterns that are, are set out for uh, Lunar New Year. And they appear to have a special uh, fair here because uh, lots of people buy uh, gifts, um, like give usually food and things to take home uh, to family. And uh, and so that, that will be really big around here. Hey, Dallas, how are you? And uh, you can see the rain is falling here in Taipei. And uh, very, very cold, uh, cold temperatures. Uh, but, you know, in uh, in the wintertime here, it, it for, for about six to eight weeks, it does get chilly uh, in northern Taiwan, uh, and, and you'll get daytime highs as low as 15 on average, or 14, which feels colder uh, than it would if you're in uh, North America, for sure. I can attest to that, having lived in North America and traveled around North America. And uh, it, it, But it, is, it's, it's, it just feels really cold here. So I have a sweater and a down jacket on uh, right now, and my hands are freezing. Uh, but I, I've got an umbrella. I'm walking around with my iPhone, uh, iPhone um, uh, waterproof case. I know. Well, you know, it's a Saturday. People work hard here in in Taiwan. They work long hours. So on the weekends, they like to get out and do things. Favorite place to eat in the area? I'm walking around right now. I, I don't eat here a lot, to be honest. Um, I'll go. There's a food court I've I've eaten a, a few times in that has some pretty good food in Taipei 101. Oh, 30 degrees in Dallas right now. 30. Okay, that's 30 Fahrenheit, right, my friend? Um, that is cold for Dallas. I know for sure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think if uh, anything I like around here. I don't often eat around here. Get hot pot. I'm not a big hot pot fan, to be honest with you. I don't eat meat. Um, actually, I've had some good hot pot before here. I have. I just find that the ones I've been having uh, aren't great, but I, I've had some good ones here. But I don't eat meat, so I eat fish. So I've had like the fish hot pot before, but I bet you the beef one is probably good. It's probably a lot more tasty, but I don't eat beef. Um, so, uh, but hot pot, I mean, hot pot is so big in uh, Taiwan. I have to tell you, there's just hot pot places everywhere. Um, this is uh, the, I know, uh, you love hot pot. Well, that's cool. This is uh, the sort of the main courtyard here, and stinky tofu. I've, I've had it before. I'm not a huge fan. It's it's not bad. I don't find it bad. I just it's not something that I crave. But maybe if I had it a, a bunch, lot of it and it was really good, I would have more. Um, this is uh, in Jinyi District. Uh, this is the Shinkan Mitsugashi sort of uh, uh, shopping area complex. Lots of um, uh, th th that's a very famous Japanese uh, department store chain that are uh, located all around Taiwan and this is a big sort of uh, shopping uh, uh, courtyard here where people come and they have entertainment and they've got like a fair on right now where they're uh, selling it looks like stuff for uh, let's have a go let's have a go look here and see what they've got oh my god look at this yeah so this would be lots of food and things um, and uh, people will be coming here and buying things for uh, Lunar New Year as well. And uh, they, they could be doing some samples here as well. Looks like people's got people have got uh, coupons. Um, and uh, I'm going to take a walk down here a little bit further. If you can stay with me and my battery, uh, if I have enough battery power left on my phone. Only two months to go, and you're coming back. Oh, very cool. Well, I know people. You come to Taiwan, you'll fall in love with it, and it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Uh, but it's uh, it's a wonderful place to come, and I'm. Uh, but <laughs> it's really freezing here right now, and uh, and thank you for sharing to your followers. You can just swipe your screen left to right on iOS or up and down on Android, or just tap that little figure in the right corner there, and you can share that way too. 
And I usually use a steady cam when I do broadcast, but today I can't because it's uh, raining out and um, uh, it's it's really damp. And I'm, so I'm using my waterproof case, which is working pretty good, life proof actually. Free plug for them. I bet you are. Yeah, you were here for a while too, my friend, weren't you? I think you were here when I was away. I hope you had a good time here. It sounds like you did. Um, I'm just chatting with somebody that was uh, uh, chatting with me before they came to Taiwan and finding out stuff about Taiwan. And uh, I've been all over uh, the map the last few months. I was in India for over a month in South India. And uh, and then I was in Nepal before that. And... Um, so I'm, I've been just orient, uh, orient, reorienting myself around Taiwan the last few weeks. I've been here back for about a month now. And I'll be here for Lunar New Year, uh, covering Lunar New Year celebrations. And uh, it is, uh, I, I picked this as I, I was down to having a coffee around here. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, and uh, I thought I'd do a scope and see what... Uh, kind of activity was down here because uh, you're just joining me we've got record low temperatures in Taiwan at least for at least the last 10 years and uh, it's supposed to get to uh, only six degrees tomorrow which will be below zero in uh, in actual the way it feels uh, that's Celsius yeah Lunar New Year um, is is really one of the best times to visit Taiwan because uh, the festivals are really amazing. There's different kinds. There's the Lantern Festival, which is really beautiful and calm and serene. I mean, lots of people go out to it. And then there's the crazy Anshui uh, Firework Festival down south, which is one of the most dangerous uh, festivals uh, in the world because of the uh, bottle rockets that they set off in the streets and people wear helmets and big heavy jackets. And Lunar New Year is Chinese New Year. So I, I call it Lunar New Year because uh, a lot of people here refer to it, and to each other they refer to it by that way. Um, and uh, and it's it's really the proper way, but most people know it as Chinese New Year. Uh, this is an iPhone 6 Plus that I'm using right now with a cracked screen that I dropped, uh, I dropped in uh, Kathmandu and shattered my screen. And uh, I, f I found it, if I, if I had this phone in the United States, sir, I'd be able to replace the screen for 150 US dollars and here it's about 500 dollars so I'm not replacing it right now. Uh, so this is uh, Sydney District. It is February 8th this year, that's right. February 8th is uh, Lunar New Year. So, um, uh, and it's the year of the monkey, that's correct. And it's it's a year of the monkey is not particularly an auspicious year. It's not. Uh, necessarily a, a good luck year, um, but it is what it is. And uh, people will go home. That the, the main thing is that they will go go visit their family, and it's it's very important to do that. Oh, that's great. Well, I have good reception. I just renewed my data plan yesterday, so uh, I have good re a good signal here and good reception. Um, so people will go and visit the family. A lot of, if you wanted to move around the island at that time of, uh, you know, around February 8th, you'll have to book your train tickets now. Oh, you're so welcome. Uh, uh, you'll have to book your train tickets, you know, bus tickets, things like that. They get booked up weeks in advance because many people, especially in Taipei, go back to, say, their parents' home or grandparents' home. And that could be on the other side of the island or in the south. So uh, transportation is really uh, hard it's really hard to get around if you don't book ahead uh, at that time of year, if you can imagine. It, and, and actually, in mainland China, it's absolutely, it's the biggest people migration in the world uh, in mainland China for uh, Lunar New Year. Uh, if you've ever seen that, it's absolutely insane, uh, the train stations and bus stations and how long people have to wait for, a t for to get a ticket. Oh, thank you too, my friend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, Peter, how are you? Uh, I am just outside, uh, I'm just uh, up the street from Taipei 101, and uh, this is uh, Jinyi District. I've just been sort of hanging around here. It's super, super cold here, uh, but people are still out. It's a Saturday. Hey, how are you, Peter? Um, and uh, I'm just checking things out here. It's super, super cold. We're getting record cold temperatures here. People are still out hanging out. It's a Saturday afternoon, and uh, 
Now, people, most people work fairly long hours here, and so on the weekends they like to get out and enjoy themselves. So they travel, go shopping, do all kinds of things, uh, go out for dinner and that. And and when you're in uh, Taipei during the week, it doesn't seem as crowded. But on the weekends, when everybody, when most people are free, it's absolutely you. You just see how um, congested or how uh, densely populated this area is. It's not humid today. It's freezing cold, my friend. It's 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 it ten. I can still feel my fingers, but barely. It's uh, it's below ten degrees, but it feel it feels more like closer to zero. And uh, it's supposed to only get up to high of six tomorrow, but then it warms back up to twenty uh, later in the week. And it's very wet here. Uh, so uh, the temperatures, uh, uh, you know, I've lived in. I live in with temperatures in at 10 degrees, and, and it's not doesn't feel as cold as it does here at 10 degrees. I'm originally I'm from Vancouver, Canada, uh, and uh, you know this time of year they, they get you know temperatures in the low, like six or seven or eight nine degrees during the daytime. Um, so it's, it's similar temperatures than right now, but it feels a lot colder here. And um, you know, many many parts of East Asia right now are feeling it. Japan, uh, Korea is getting some very very cold temperatures right now. And typically, it is colder there at this time of year, very very cold, but but uh, even more so. And uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna stay with you as long as I can, but my battery is gonna die soon here because I was working earlier. But uh, I've I've just come down to walk around to check things out here and, and see if there's some more signs of uh, Lunar New Year. No, not freezing, not freezing, but they are getting snow in the high mountains here, the high mountain passes here in uh, Taiwan for sure. Uh, but no no ice and snow at uh, sea level or, or lower down. Uh, but, but above a thousand meters, I think they're gonna see snow in a lot of areas. Somebody was saying in Alisan, which is a very famous tea growing region, that they're, they're getting some snow uh, there that uh, was reported. Uh, most of the stores will have the red lanterns outside uh, for Lunar New Year and, and now when you walk into most of the uh, department stores, bigger stores, they will be playing traditional uh, classical Chinese music and it's, it's really so amazing to uh, feel that energy because it's so ancient and uh, it just has so much soul because it's, it's such a precious uh, holiday here. It's the most important holiday of the year. And I think this year with the weekends and stuff there, they get up to about nine days uh, vacation time, including the weekend. So it's a big, big celebration, big time to visit family. And uh, and it's on February 8th this year. And I yeah, yesterday I periscoped from a place called Diwa Street uh, here in Taipei. And uh, that is a very famous grocery street. I will take another trip down there in the next few days because it will be getting really, really busy. And uh, when I was there yesterday, it's they're just setting up things up. But people like to go down there and shop for traditional uh, snacks and uh, treats for the new year and gifts. And uh, it's uh, one of the oldest streets in Taipei. So if you didn't, uh, I think you can still, you still might be able to see, you No, know, if you go to Cash, you can see that uh, Periscope. Uh, but I will... Um, I will broadcast again from there and some other places uh, that are uh, definitely uh, unique and, and uh, very have very much into the spirit of Lunar New Year. And uh, if you are just joining me, give me a shout out where you are. I'd love to say hi to you uh, wherever you are in the world. Uh, it's John Sabo, Far East Adventure Travel in Taipei. Really interested with your video. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. And I, I do uh, host a podcast on iTunes called Far East Adventure Travel that you can uh, check out. Or you can go to my website, fareastadventuretravel.com. Hey, Minnesota, how are you? Ireland, I have your weather. Yeah, we, we probably do. It is, uh, it's very wet here and very cold. And it does rain a lot here. Uh, in northern Taiwan, especially this time of year, and uh, and, and it, but it's the, the it's the temperatures that are really, uh, really, really cold. And I just I can't remember. I think it was in uh, 
Japan where people are just sort of hunkering inside. Ukrainian, how <laughs> neat. Um, and, uh, it, and people will probably do that tonight. They will probably try to keep warm because uh, it's so, so cold here. Yes, I do, I do. Um, but I, I do travel around a lot as well. So I, when I'm not on the road, I was just on the road uh, traveling uh, through Nepal and India for two months in uh, October, November, and, uh, and most of December. I just arrived back in uh, Taiwan just before Christmas. Presents are given, yes, but not gifts to each other. Temperature is below 10 degrees right now. And uh, the gifts are given to each other, uh, not really given to each other. So the, the uh, children in the family w w will get uh, uh, like uh, an envelope with some money in it. Um, but if you go to your friend's house or something, or that, you know, if you visit, you're bringing, you bring stuff for like to eat, things like that. But not like it's not like Christmas where there's gifts exchanged. No, usually the younger people in the family receive some money. Minus 14 right now in Ukraine. Wow, that's so cold. But uh, thank you for joining us here uh, in Taipei. And uh, this is uh, outside Taipei 101, which is uh, one of the highest buildings in the world. And a uh, quick shot of it. That's Taipei 101. And snowy too, wow. And uh, 